Oh yeah, I had Eden's blessing, didn't I? But why? Uh huh? Huh? Excuse. Hold. Hold on. I was not ready for that. Right off the bat. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Hi. How's it going, by the way? I guess I'm starting with Sacred Heart today. <laughs> I did not expect to get uh, that that as the, my Eden's Blessing item. Yeah, that's uh, surprising to say the least. I... Uh, whoa! Okay! I need a I need a key to look at that library, by the way. That's gonna be some good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> how you doing? How you doing on this wonderful... <sighs> October 20th? I think that's when this one should go up. No, there's a charge. I got keys as well, you know what? Let's go. Uh, it's, it's a spooky month, right? I haven't even, like... <clears throat> done anything to do with spooky month whatsoever yet but it do be the spooky month it do be the month of spooks i don't really care much for halloween i mean maybe it's because i'm not american right i think that's a big part of it <laughs> i'm not american and halloween is only really a big deal in america but still you know it's uh some people get really really into halloween I've never gone trick or treat in my life, actually. I think I the closest thing once. This was when we were, when I was like I don't know, like fourteen or something. And uh, friend, uh, like just a classmate, had like a Halloween party that he was having. I don't know if it was like a Halloween party or maybe like he was celebrating his birthday because it was around the same time, and he just decided to do it on Halloween on the thirty first of October or something like that. But either way, I was at a friend's place for Halloween, and we weren't like dressing up in costumes or even going trick or treat or anything like that. But we were just like. No, it was, it was a pretty warm, pretty mild October evening. I'm actually... Yeah, just gonna re-roll that. So we were just walking out around his neighborhood and stuff, having having a good time, right? Just a bunch of 14-year-olds who weren't, like, even really being loud or obnoxious or anything like that. We were just chilling. Just hanging out. Having a great old time. <laughs> and then we walked by some old lady's house, some hag. So, some just, you know... Really angry old lady. We were just having a conversation, talking normally. We weren't, like, being loud or anything. And... She was, like, pissed. For some reason, she was, like, really upset at the idea of a bunch of teenagers just walking around the street at night. Not even at night, it was, like, 8 p.m., right? It wasn't even that late. It was, like, 8 p.m. or something like that, maybe 9 p.m. Just walking around at that time through the neighborhood. Just having conversation, normal, amicable conversation, as you do. And she was, like... Oh, I know, I know who you guys are. I'm gonna call the police on you if you don't get the fuck out of here. And we're like, lady, what the fuck's your problem? We're just, we're just, we're just minding our own business. You should do the same. Anyway, that was my only Halloween experience I've ever had. I've, uh, never had anything of the like since, uh, whatsoever. The closest we've had is that sometimes for, for Halloween there's trick-or-treaters. Although, even that is a rather rare occurrence. I need a key. There you go. Like, I obviously, because mostly it's because I live in the fucking middle of bumfuck nowhere countryside. Uh, there's probably, like, maybe three kids in this town that actually, not even town, village, that are of the age where it's reasonable to go trick-or-treating. And they would go around trick-or-treating this village. So, you know, there's not many people to go trick-or-treating in the first place. But yeah, even the, the few times in recent years we did get trick-or-treaters, it's always been really funny. Because my mom usually has to, just coincidentally, always has to work during Halloween. So she's never home, but she always prepares like some candy, you know, for the trick-or-treaters or whatever. But my dad just, like, he actually hates Halloween with a passion because, oh, it's American. So, so it goes to the point where I think there was one time we had trick-or-treaters show up at the door. And he straight up, like, told them to fuck off. Like, he didn't just not answer the door, which is what normal people would do. He, like, went to the door and, like, told them to fuck off and get the hell out of here. Which I found hilarious. <laughs> I was like, yeah, my dad would do that. No, that seems very in character. But it is also very funny that he would go to those links. Anyway, um, I don't want the wafer, but I guess I have no choice. It's not like this deal is probably staying open. I might as well grab this. I could use a little bit of money. So, like, yeah, it's, it was, like, when I when I heard that, like, the next day, or when my mom told me when she came upstairs later that day or something, was like, oh, yeah, your dad, like, fucking cussed out a bunch of kids, told them to fuck off. <laughs> I was like, that's so unbelievably based but also my god the lengths he goes to to justify that he hates halloween like i get it it's an american holiday it's it's kind of like made up it's stupid but like god damn dude let's roll uh, what you got glass cannon i mean it's okay but i don't want it it serves zero purpose to me i'd rather keep my ed6 i suppose we're done with this floor huh 
<clears throat> I did make, like, terrible use of my rerolls. Like, absolutely abhorrent. Just downright heinous reroll abuse. And by abuse, I mean misuse. As in, they weren't used well at all. But hey, who cares? So yeah, that's, uh, that's my Halloween experiences. <laughs> it's not really something that matters here. But I do find it funny how... Pretty much the second, like, we're halfway through September, but especially, like, once the 1st of October hits, everybody's like, oh, pumpkins, Halloween, uh, spooky month, skeletons, right? And then the second people wake up on November 1st, they're like, it's Christmas now. Like, there's, there's no transitionary period. There's no in-between time where, like, there's no holiday or something. You go from spooky month, Halloween, pumpkins, skeletons. Next day, fucking whiplash, you go into Christmas trees. And, like, you know, baubles and decorations and Mariah Carey being defrosted. Like, there is no downtime. I mean, I, I, maybe it depends on where you live. I know in America, you have Thanksgiving in November as well, which is like an extra thing, right? Like, that, that expands the holiday season. Basically, I, I doubt from November 1st until January 1st, there's anything that ever gets done in any workplace in the US because it's just, oh, uh, you got holiday season, Black Friday... Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, you got all that shit just bunched together, and then, like, maybe by the time the new year rolls around, people are like, okay, time to go back to work. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, maybe that's how it works. It's not as extreme here because, you know, there's not, there's no, like, national holidays in November, like, to that extent, that go that crazy. Finally, a damn tears up, by the way. You do get a bit of a tears down out of Sacred Heart. For some reason, they felt like they had to give the best item in the game a downside. <laughs> Which, fair enough, I guess. Oh, well. Let's check this curse room. Oh boy, a Guppy item, and it's actually a pretty good one, too. It's not like Guppy's Cerebral or something. What do you got? Ugh. Roll me. Ah, that's decent, actually. That's, that's okay, I can have that. It's not like I got much else to spend my money on, and... If I end up becoming Guppy or have something that generates flies or spiders, I'll be very happy to have Hive Mind. I love me a bit of a damage up, though. It's, it's not just a bit, it's quite sizable, because... Yeah, Sacred Heart is a broken item. And... Roll me. Ah, Bone Spurs is fine. I can live with a Bone Spurs. Let's see what you want to turn this into, game. Oh boy! <laughs> I have 10 luck already. It's only gonna get better from here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be shooting ropes. No, I'm gonna be shooting a lot of, a lot of razor blades. That lucky penny is only gonna improve this. Once I hit 14 luck, I am, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't think anything will be able to stop me anymore, honestly. Uh, to be fair, it's not like this run was ever gonna hang in the balance or whatsoever. I fucking started with Sacred Fucking Heart. Literally, zero seconds and I got Sacred Heart. It's unbelievable how that just happens sometimes. Eh, roll it. I can roll that again. I can fish for something incredible here. Anyway, ooh, that's way better. Thank you for the tears up. That's only gonna improve a razor blade. Shots further, aka that's not what they're called, they're called fucking Apple. That's that's what the item's called. You know what else I'm looking forward to? That's gonna be happening soon. Like early next month, early November. Invincible season two is finally gonna start airing. I loved the first season of Invincible, so much so that I actually like did research about like the story in the comic and let myself get spoiled about some of the bits of it. And it only gets better, which is the crazy part about it. If you've seen Invincible, you know what I'm talking about probably. You're probably aware of how things to come are only gonna get better. And as long as they don't really mess up the animation style or something like that royally, it should be an incredible show. Why do I bring it up? Well, because I... They, they had like a little special episode that they released for, for Adam Eve. A while ago, actually. I only got to watching it recently. Do I take Proptosis? It's a bit anti-synergy, but it's even more damage. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, the other thing would have been Spoonbender, so it's not like it would have done much for me. I will, like, literally one-shot bosses at this point, I'm pretty sure, if I do this point blank. But yeah, so like, I watched that Adam Eve episode, and it was fun. It was just good, man. It's just it's just more of the more of the same Invincible stuff. It was, it was great. I was very happy to have witnessed it. Like, Clutch is actually so dead. He's so, he's so cooked. I'm gonna fucking ice him. Turn him into an example. He's, he's just fucking dead. Roll that. Ugh, I mean, I guess I'll take a... Shot speed upgrades are always good, considering uh, I have Proptosis, I mean. For once, I am very happy to get shot speed upgrades. You won't catch me being upset. I killed those guys way too fucking fast. What the fuck's the bed doing in an arcade? I don't go to an arcade to sleep. Who do you think I am? I should reroll this key piece, by the way. Boom! Uh, well, that's not useful at all, but... 
Thanks, I guess. I suppose. Oh, <laughs> now that is very useful, though. And I shall restock a little bit. Uh, there's nothing to reroll, so there's no point in grabbing battery pack. Like, I should be buying shit for the sake of stats, but also... I can just keep restocking. There was chaos. Uh, I'll take a magic skin, that's also fine. I gotta find my secret room, which I... By the way, I've been neglecting two for floors now, but... <clears throat> it's not like I really need... It's not like I really need to go crazy, right? Like, this run is already kind of insane already. It's not like I need much more. Speed down. Oh no. It's the one star I was actually struggling with a little bit. Oh, it disappeared. Should I have rerolled the the ghost thing as well, by the way? Yeah, I probably should have in the angel room, but oh well. Oh, I get to read to the floor. <laughs> sure. At this point, why the hell not? Curse, a uh, charm of the vampire. Let's roll that. Okay, whatever. Screw it. Hit me with it, baby. We go again. I am speed running through these rooms. I just want to beeline for whatever's up here. I guess it's the boss, so I'll fight the boss. Singe, I got bad news for you. You're dead. <laughs> that was fast. That was real quick, and I got another angel deal. Oh boy, I love me a holy light, and you know damn well I'm rerolling the key piece again. Because I'm probably getting another deal at some point. Is Glyph of Balance good? <laughs> another library, by the way. Only one singular book is all I'm worth, huh? And it disappeared as well? Motherfucker. <laughs> oh well, what's the item room got? Bro, what is a seed? This is crazy. I mean, even- Like, the seed is nuts even without the Sacred Heart start. What the fuck do you mean, Cricket's body? Uh, that's insane! <laughs> it's not as crazy at the maximum extent of its range, because the tears are so small that they're not gonna do that much damage, but still! Curse at our last. Ironic, considering who I am. Playing ass today? Why does this have to be a dirty bedroom? God damn it! Isaac, why do you live like this? Why don't you just clean up your bedroom, huh? Clean, clean up, go clean up your bedroom. I, I will, I, I will now proceed to tell you to clean up your bedroom and then have a mental breakdown on Twitter, uh, every day. I don't know. I, is that, isn't that what Jordan Peterson does nowadays? Is that? Now nah, here, there's your controversial topic for the day. I never cared about Jordan Peterson whatsoever. I always thought he seemed very. Uh, pretentious and annoying to listen to. I'm sure he made some okay points every once in a while, but I find it ironic that the guy that was um, constantly being like, oh man, people need to grow up, people need to grow thicker skin, people need to, you know, uh, become adults, that he's now just spending every day, like, posting fucking annoying ass shit on Twitter, being like a crybaby about something, because that's all I ever see of him. If, if, if any of his tweets ever show up on my feed, he's just, like, complaining about something, and... Uh, the only clip I've ever seen of him is the one where he's like fucking crying. <laughs> I don't know what the context is for him crying. Maybe his wife died. I don't know, right? Maybe I'm a terrible person for making fun of it, but I'm just I just think it's ironic. Now the guy that was like, oh I I I am so much better than all of you because I fold my laundry after I take it down instead of leaving it on my bed for uh, 48 hours, you know? Uh, is now sunk into that level. I took a brother Bobby, by the way, because I want to get conjoined here. I think that's going to uh, be a nice little damage multiplier for this run. Uh, that's useless to me. If you'd like to comply and uh, be so kind to uh, provide me with something like that, that would be amazing. Or you can just delete the item, that's also okay. Have I been to my... I have been to everything except the shop, and there's a shop, okay. I was gonna say, have I been to my item room? Yeah, I literally just said I uh, grabbed Brother Bobby from it. Matter of fact, uh, there's conjoined if I get one more penny, uh, which this guy doesn't have. I don't know why I blew him up. I got one penny out here, though, so it's all good. <clears throat> there you go, conjoined, baby. All right, yeah, let's just fight the boss. Oh, whatever, I found my way over here. That's good enough. It's one of the few boss I can't instantly one-shot. Honestly, appalling. Like, what the fuck do you mean I can't one-shot this boss instantaneously as soon as I walk into the room? Like, I could every other boss so far. Although, Clutch was a bit of a nuisance as well. He took a bit longer. <laughs> the amount of holy lights, by the way. Whenever I hit him, like, I'm shooting, like, I think peak holy light. Proc rate. I think it's like 10 luck or something like that. Maybe it's even lower than that. Roll these. These are utter trash. Uh, so is placenta for that matter, but it's not like I get to re-roll it. So I might as well take it. You never know. Maybe I'll accidentally get a full run re-roll at some point and then I'll be happy to have an extra item to put into that pile. Down we go. Speed run. Speed run, except I'm definitely not making boss rush. It's a speed run, except I'm definitely not getting to go to boss rush because there's no way. Well, actually, I might. It's 25 minutes, right? If I really pick up the pace on this floor, maybe I will. Another bedroom, by the way. What the heck? 
What are the odds of two of these on two floors in a row? And it's a dirty one again. God damn it. I guess I could skip this whole floor if I wanted to. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm doing that. The speed downs I've suffered uh, are honestly the hardest part about this. 48 hour energy. I could have used one of those earlier, but oh well. A big experimental pill. I gotta. I can't. You can't resist. Speed up, tears down. Honestly, that's actually fine. Oh boy. I was hating the low speed, so this is actually totally okay. Yeah, there's no way I'm making boss rush. <laughs> I'm min-maxing too much right now. Use it. Uh... Inner child. I don't know about that. I believe that is worth re-rolling instead of uh, picking up. I'm just gonna... I, I, I'm close to popping this range down pill just to feel something. Just because I'm the joker like that. Fuck it. <laughs> Screw it. It's funny. Might as well spend some money. This is uh, going the, the, the penultimate shop. It's not the last shop, but it is the penultimate one. So I might as well spend a little bit of uh, my money to get more stats. You never know. Maybe next shop has greed, right? So... Boom! Uh, could generate another pedestal. Or it could not. I'm gonna buy it anyway for stats. <laughs> Boom. Decent. Decent. But there are higher highs in the secret room pool. This is far too interesting. Ooh, okay. Wait a second here. Oh, baby. I can't believe that the first guess was the right one. It's Yumhard. Okay, well. That's another reroll target. Once this secret room item inevitably disappears, I'm not gonna walk around. What the heck? Oh, I have a wisp that now opens. Oh my god. I completely forgot I have Book of Virtues because the ED6 wisps aren't all that. <laughs> oh boy! I guess I'll be getting uh, a lot of extra red rooms here. This this wisp is gonna take me places. So long as it uh, lives and survives. Cursed Eye. Uh, probably not bad, but I. Again, again, there's just better stuff, right? You know what? I'll use this one on the red room because it's closer. Might as well. Boom! Speak of the devil. Boom, indeed. It's not what I want, though. <clears throat> I can't believe... I'm, I'm jinxing myself by say, by, like, I'm setting myself up for the jinx by saying this, but... I can't believe that I'm actually gonna run out of charges with the ED6 for once. Like, there's so many rerolls to do because so few of the items have deleted until that point. Uh, that I'm actually gonna run out of charges for once. Which is usually never an issue with the ED6. You usually run out of items to reroll before you run out of... Well, charges to use to reroll with. If I get a deal this floor, I should consider myself lucky. I didn't, so I shall <laughs> go for another reroll. You know what? Curse of the Maze made it so I didn't have to go through that room, which means I get to save this charge and use it efficiently. Boom! Again. <laughs> nope! I am not taking Isaac's heart. Although it would be a funny challenge. I am not doing that. I am definitely not making boss rush, though. I, it's way past 25 minutes already. Kind of expected that, to be fair. Kind of saw that coming. <laughs> To be expected. Oh, the boss is right here. What the fuck? This is the fastest mausoleum floor of my life. I can't fight mom yet. Come on, I gotta do the rest of the floor. Let's get these freaks out of here, man. Show me my fucking shop or whatever. I just wanna... Oh, boy. <laughs> I just wanna, like, get stuff, you know? It does not have greed. More options is pretty useless to me, so uh, re-roll. BFFs is nice, though. And we'll restock. Might as well grab pay to play. Now my keys are useless, but that's fine. Eh, nah, I don't want that. I'd rather have cards available to me. Jumper cables is nice. Don't know why I would do this considering I have no money now, but oh well. I guess I might get the money to buy mom's key. I only need four cents. I think that is feasible to get. <laughs> I'm not I'm not forget me nowing this floor. I'm not leaving behind the ED6. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Um let me buy mom's key real quick, right? Uh, I want to re-roll in here more, but I also want to save this mega mush in case I roll into or I can roll into a rock bottom. Um, so basically, I need another space bar item to show up somewhere on this floor so I can swap out this mega mush. That would be quite, quite the get. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is gonna happen. In that case, I suppose, as much as it pains me to do it, I like hanging on to rerolls. So I'll grab it, I'll pop it, I'll reroll it. I was hoping it would turn into uh, rock bottom just there, but oh well. Let's just use the Emperor card because I'm too lazy to walk. Mom is going to be Omega dead. Yep, as is expected. I'm going up, of course, because I am the lost. I can get a roll for this. The question is, will I get an extra deal after this? Probably not, so I will just re-roll it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's Age Revelation, all right. Sure. Ah, oh, there's a Tinder Rock in the boss. Who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who gives a shit? I got cooler cooler homing now on top of the Sacred Heart homing that I already have. I got like the, the brainworm type homing from Ancient Revelation. I don't care about min-maxing this floor by the way. I'm not even gonna look for the secret room. I'm just gonna try to get to the boss as fast as I can. If I can make Hush here, that'd be awesome. 
That being said, it looks like I've gone the wrong way. I've navigated the room wrongly once more. Incorrectly, huh? And it, it's over. Okay, well, I might as well min-max now. Look for the secret room. Couldn't have dropped a steam sail, Greed. You couldn't have dropped a steam sail for me. That would have been quite nice of you, but oh well. It took this long to get to the boss when I could have gone here way quicker. Wow, she's dead instantaneously. I'm so glad I got the key piece house floor. I'm not grabbing mom's knife. That would ruin this run, man. It would make it so boring. Uh, that's a guppy piece, though. Uh, matter of fact, I'm guppy. <laughs> Matter of fact, I have become the Gupster. Uh, yeah, just in case you were thinking like things can't get any crazier. Oh, they always can. Look at this key-shaped floor. Wow. And that's something. All right, I'll min-max a little bit. Boom. Uh, Peeper is a bit of a damage up, is it not? 34%. I always forget that it's actually kind of a sizable damage up in one eye. It's not to be underestimated. I always overlook the Peeper. <clears throat> but because of that damage up, it's actually very good. Roll it. Ah, sure, it's an extra luck up. Now I, now I am officially at 100% proc rate <laughs> for razor blades. So, um, <clears throat> my damage is officially now at 120-ish. Oh boy, that's a good trinket. Too bad I can't drop perfection because it's literally a driving factor behind me dealing 120 damage shots. <laughs> Why am I even doing the rest of the floor? I don't know, it just feels like... It feels... It makes you feel, like, really powerful. Like, you're an actual god. When you can just walk through a room, shoot once, and then everything dies. It fills you with like a sense of power that is not imitated by many other things. Not many games can really give you this sense of power, you know? That you can get when you just boot up Isaac for the first time of the day, and then just because you happen to have a funny item yesterday, you now start with the best item in the game on this run, which is very funny to think about. Okay, oh, there's a steam sale. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. I don't mind the tears down from this, uh, that's just gonna make things better. <laughs> Alright, Isaac. Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was over as quickly as you can think it would be. Uh, what dealing 120 damage four times in one shot does, uh, it's pretty damn powerful. I do not really care for the guillotine, but at the same time, it wouldn't be bad to have. That being said, this is juicy to just reroll. Oh my god! No way! <laughs> I'm not doing 180 damage per shot! Oh boy! Sorry, 180 damage base per bullet. You need to add on Proptosis, which I think at point blank is a 3x. So we're actually more looking at like a 540 damage. Uh, and then that four times was because of a quad shot. So we're actually doing like uh, more like yeah, over 2000 damage shot. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want Monstro's Lung. I'll be honest. The fire rate decrease combined with quad shot seems a bit much. Like, I'm, I'm gonna do a ton of damage every shot, but the shots are also gonna take forever to leave my face. So I'd rather not. I think I'm better off just pressing space for again. Okay, it's gone. Whatever it happens. That's an interesting item. Too bad I'm gonna reroll into something way better. Okay, uh, yeah. I don't mind if they disappear at this point. I, I literally can't ask for anything more. I'm pretty sure I'm actually, like, gonna fucking, like, two-shot Mega Satan or something. Like, he's actually, like, every single one of his phases is gonna die instantaneously. I'm not even doubting that. This is an unbelievable run. Ah, does nothing for me, but I might as well take it. The two bloody Gust fans in existence will be very happy that I took it. There's Blue Baby. Might as well reroll this one more time. Sure, why not? Kill Blue Baby instantaneously. <laughs> not a surprise at all. <laughs> okay, time to kill the big guy. I'm telling you, it's gonna be snap, 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 snap. Instantly, every single phase is gonna be taken down. Yep, there you go. A couple of hits was all it took. I actually wonder how much health he has, like, uh, like numerically, because I... You can do the actual math, how many hits it would take to kill him, considering I'm doing over 2,000 damage a shot. And that's just with my, with my like, main shots. You need to add on another 1,000 damage for the conjoined tiers. Then they split when they hit something because of Cricket's body. Not to mention the fires, the holy lights, and the flies. <laughs> like, this is absurd. Look how quickly he died. I don't even get to do the void. The game knows that it would just be a massacre. Delirium was not having any of it. He's scared. He's a little pussy bitch coward. I'm gonna get him next time. Or, I don't know, maybe uh, whenever it shows up. Anyway, that's it for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I certainly have. That was an incredible run. I can't possibly be upset about starting with Sacred Heart. I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one. Till then, bye!